everyone. Welcome to my channel today. I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. I'm so excited that you're here today. I will be showcasing the uh, classes that I will be teaching at Fluid Art Experience upcoming here in April, April 27th through 29th. Uh, I'm really excited. I've never been to Seattle, so uh, um, it's going to just be a really fun time with a great group of artists. Um, the interaction with the students is so rewarding and uh, it's so nice to be able to put faces uh, with names and to be able to talk paint with someone who is as passionate about fluid art as I am. So, uh, I hope that you enjoy this. If you have any questions, again, please um, comment below or send me an email. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have um, about any of the classes. And yeah, that's it. So I am going to let you guys watch. I hope you enjoy it. And thank you so much for being here. Okay, so this first technique is the beginner pearl cell. Um, and on this one, uh, I did a flip cup um, and um, on a satin enamel base coat. So basically in this class, uh, we're going to be using flip cups. We're gonna uh, do some um, pores where there's some negative space. We will have multiple canvases to work on, um, two to three per person. Uh, so uh, we'll definitely get plenty of practice in. Uh, typically when I do these classes, uh, I do uh, three different canvases. Um, it'll have to depend on time, whether or not we'll, we'll be able to do two or three, but um, this is kind of a typical flip cup that I like to share with uh, people uh, in my classes. Um, we will do a negative space um, pour and then another puddle pour. So I will show you all three uh, in the class. Uh, and this is basically, we are getting pearls. You will get pearls in this class, I promise. It's a guarantee. <laughs> so uh, this is just the wet results of this painting that I did a while back. You've seen this, uh, if you watch me, you've seen this video. Um, but yeah, I really loved the colors in this flip cup a lot. So the next technique that I will be sharing with you is the pearl Dutch pour uh, combo. And then also uh, we'll be doing something similar in the pearl pour combo class. Again, in that class, we'll be working with flip cups and things, but um, in this Dutch pour combo class, uh, it we, we basically were making a background for our Dutch pour to go through. So here on this canvas, this is a video you have not seen yet, and uh, sorry, it's a little bit out of frame, but I am doing some really extreme tilting on this. That is uh, uh, my new pearl cell recipe, which is in the description below with the Vallejo Pearl Medium. And then on top of that is the Modern Masters Champagne, which always really pearls well. Um, I just, I love the way that it looks as a background for these Dutch pearls uh, because, or Dutch, yeah. Dutch pour, pearl pours. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I really like the way that it looks as a background um, because basically with that uh, metallic, uh, those pearls really, um, they pop because they're matte and so they look 3D. And one thing with this pearl, um, the Vallejo, uh, medium that I've been using lately for my pearl cells. Uh, it, if you torch it and you get air bubbles, you will get more pearls. So, which is not typical with um, other pearl cell recipes. So, I am just laying down some puddle colors here. That was rust oleum champagne, uh, a, 
a light blue that I had made up. Here's a little bit of oxide black from um, Amsterdam. And then this last color that I'm going to put down uh, is sea glass from TLP. Um, and it just, it's so pretty. It's the shimmer that it creates is really pretty uh, in this painting. Um, so, and I just love the way that those pearls look. Now, normally, typically, I use a hairdryer, um, but I just really am having a good time playing with this new um, straw slash thing that I got from the paint pour store. It's like a tube and then it's got attachments. And if I can, if I think of it, I will put a link to it in the description box below. But it's been really fun playing with this, especially on smaller canvases where you don't have a lot of room to blow out. Uh, being able to use this little thing has actually been really fun. And if you've watched like the last three of my videos, you've seen me using this. I'm just, I love it. I think it's so fun to use. Although you got to be careful because the tube does collect condensation and you don't want to spit in your painting. So got to be careful of that. But um, yeah, this is... Um, you know, one, I really love the way that this one turned out. I love that blue. And then uh, if you look at the final results on this one, you will see that um, it, the, the pearl medium, um, it's kind of, it's, it's like a satin enamel. It kind of eats your paint. And so it would very much ate my paint, but I still think that it turned out really cool um, and I, I'm not mad about it eating my paint. So uh, I, this is another class that I will be teaching. Actually two classes, uh, they're very similar. Both, um, it's one's Friday afternoon and one is Saturday afternoon. So there is um, some wet results. Here's a close up of the wet results. After probably, you can see the edges are already starting to dry. So this has probably been about an hour or so after I uh, completed. It's just kind of been sitting there and you can see that the paint got eaten a bit, but it still looks pretty. So I'm okay with it. So yeah, you can see where there's kind of the outline of the paint still. The pearls popped through the Dutch pour portion. But yeah, it still turned out nice. So, and here it is dry. Uh, I did pop it into a float frame. So, and this is not varnished yet. Once it's varnished, um, kind of that outline around where the Dutch pour is will start to go away. But yeah, this is what it looks like dry. And you see how it kind of looks 3D where those pearls are with that metallic background. I love the way that that looks, it's pretty cool. So now on to beginner bloom coasters. So this one, it, it, it's the Shelly Art Bloom uh, technique, obviously. And um, I take you through consistencies. And, and basically in all these classes, I'm gonna take you through consistencies and it's always funny to watch people, especially with like the pearl technique, you know, and they're, they think they have enough water and then you have to keep adding water. Um, but yeah, it, there's, there's something to be said for having these in-person classes to be able to figure out consistencies because I think that is probably one of the hardest things to figure out on your own. And it's really hard to teach consistency over Zoom or on YouTube. So yeah, you guys will get the consistency for all of these methods that I'm using. Uh, consistencies for the Shelly Art Bloom technique. And everybody kind of has their own thoughts on consistency for the technique that they're doing. 
Bloom coasters and for the Bloom blowouts, which is the next uh, class that I will be showcasing, uh, the, t the, the consistency needs to leave about a two to three second trace in the cup. And uh, so, you know, it, it's really hard to kind of teach that without seeing you in person so that you can see how fast I count and how fast you count and see if uh, that's it's if it works if it's the same so um, yeah uh, so here's the bloom coasters I'm gonna let you watch the rest of these guys because um, the next one is the bloom blowout uh, that we that I'll be doing um, we'll, we'll be working on a round and a square canvas uh, for the bloom blowout class and then the last class that I will be showing you is the uh, Dutch bloom class so I'm gonna let you guys all watch the rest of this I've talked enough through this uh, and I really hope you guys can make it to Seattle um, and if you're kind of on the bubble on whether or not you want to take one of my classes let me know give me a shout out and uh, if you have any questions I will be happy to answer them so all right guys enjoy the music and I will see you on the next one mm -hmm. 